Hello everyone, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to make this kind of fiery logo animation or fiery interpreter in Adobe After Effects. So before starting this video, let's have a look what we are going to create today. So this is the animation we are going to make in this video. So here I am in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. So I'm going to create a new composition. We will name it to Main, and I'm using 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel and 29 frame rate per second and 15 second duration. Now let's import our logo here. So this is the logo, we we'll select and drag and drop to the After Effects and now let's import this logo to the timeline and here let's adjust its position and size. Now let's select this logo, decompose it and rename it to edit logo so that we can change this logo anytime. Now select all attribute into the new composition then hit ok. After that let's create a new solid and I'm going to rename it to reflection and change its color to black then hit ok. Now select this reflection drag it to the below of logo com then select this go to effect and preset and search for fractalize. Apply it and change this fractal type to max let's hide this and then go to transform and uncheck this uniform scaling and change this scale height to 10,000 after that let's animate this so make sure that you are in the first frame and create a keyframe on evolution and offset turbulence then go to the last of this frame and change evolution to 180 and turbulence to 1070 1, ok now we will find something like this kind of movement now select this and press S let's make this something like this and then select this decompose and rename it to reflection com don't forget to select move all attribute into the new composition then hit ok now select the track mat and change it to alpha mat if you don't find this then click on this to switch between select and select alpha mat so you will find your logo something like this now select this reflection comp and go to effect and preset again and search for cc glass apply it now go to surface and change this bump mat to logo composition and change softness to 40 and height to 30 and make sure that your property is lightness now go to shading and make mbm 0 diffuse 0 and roundness 0.5 metal make it to 0 Now again select this, go to effect and presets and search for CC globalize light. Go to globalize and change it to end logo. Make softness to 30. 20 is fine. Okay, make it 20 and make it 10. 5 is good for this. Now go to shading of globalize and Change and main to zero. Diffuse zero, and also make it 0.5. Metal make zero, 
I'll make it 35 for put a light color and create a keyframe to the light height press U and drag it to the end of this and now type minus 65 okay back to shading and make this metal go 100 percent and now you'll find something like this now select the logo comb press ctrl d and turn on this go to something like this point press t and make it opposite to zero create a keyframe now go to this frame and make it 100 percent select this go to effect and stylize from here select color emboss now select all of this composition pre-composite rename it to logo com select move all attributes into the new composition then hit ok now go to the project window and here i need to use some stock photos so you can download all of them from the link in the description let's drag them to after effects and create a new folder with them rename it to photos go to this folder and let's drag the fire effect to the timeline drag this logo below this fire and change this fire mode to screen or maybe yet so need to use its screen now let's drag this logo to something like this point now let's drag the smoke to the timeline and place it here press T to open opacity make its opacity to 70 let's select this and select the pen tool and make a mask around it now press F to open feather and make it something like this okay now drag the spark 1 to the timeline and change its move to screen so select the fire and press B make its size something like this also change its size to like this press R and rotate it like this press S and make it something like this now drag this part 2 here Press S and make it 50. Make it to screen. Also drag it to here. Select this. Press go to effect and preset and search for first blur. Apply it and blurness make 10. And check this. okay now you can go to project and drag this spark 5 apply it here and also press s make it 50 
and drag this to something like this point and change its mid to screen also now go to here and trim to the comp area so our logo animation is almost complete select all of them close it let's create a background for this new solid and change something like this kind of color hit ok drag this here and rename it to bg for our background now if you want to hide uh, all of this select them and click on this shy icon then click on here to hide all of this layer so now let's see the preview so now go to around two second and select this logo comp press alt and left bracket key to cut the logo here okay now drag it to here and let's see the preview by the way this video was sponsored by AC wallpaper AC wallpaper is a wallpaper app for android phone if you want to set beautiful wallpaper or uh, lock screen for your android phone you can download this app from the link in video description and use this app and use all of the unlimited amazing and beautiful wallpapers for your phone so go to the link and download this app and try it out thank you so much for watching